What should we take today? I uh, will take the Escalade. City plus four, I knew it. Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Last winter, Pedal Commander reached out to me to try out their product on my wife's 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. So today I'm here to share with you some of the advantages and disadvantages to having a Pedal Commander. Let's go. husband problems. I think you know what I'm talking about. When your wife leaves you with 56 kilometers of range or 32 miles. Here we go, getting gas. So I have to tell you, it does work as advertised. My wife has it on city four here. I'm gonna turn it down to, we'll go city two. I think that's a little more comfortable. I find that I'm always turning it down after she's had the vehicle because she just, she likes it aggressive. She likes to be first off the line at every intersection. Maybe I taught her well, I'm not sure. But what Pedal Commander is doing, if you're not sure, if this is the first time you're seeing a video about this, is it manipulates your throttle response so it is more reactive when you want it to be or less reactive if that's the way that you set this. I'll tell you what it doesn't do. It does not create more power or torque, but just because of that extra throttle response to whatever setting you choose to set it at, Psychologically, you think you'll have more power just because of that extra responsiveness. It's no joke, it really works. So let's talk about some of the advantages. The first one is the ease of installation. I think that anybody with a little bit of comfort working on vehicles themselves could do this install. It's really plug and play, super easy. And going along with that advantage would have to be how fast it is to install. You might be thinking that here I am gonna spend half an hour setting this thing up and getting it going. Literally, you are a minute, minute and a half just connecting it. I think you'll spend the most amount of time figuring out where you wanna have the wired controller. And you don't have to use just the wired controller, you can also use an app. You have 32 different settings. You have the four modes right here, Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. Each of them have four settings upwards and four settings downwards. My math tells me that's 32 settings. Now I was just speaking about the modes a second ago. So this eco mode, there's an advantage to that. If you want to improve your mileage, you can set it to that and that heavy footed person, you know who it is in your family. I want to feel this. This is what I want to feel. Well, if it's turned on to eco mode, you can adjust it. So when they floor it, they're just not going to get the response that they're looking for and that's gonna keep their driving just a little more tame, hence some fuel savings. Now, before I get into the disadvantages, I wanna go through the app on my iPhone here just a little more thoroughly, because I haven't really reviewed that on some of the other Pedal Commander videos that I've done. So we'll go through that because I think it'll be a good segue into the disadvantages. All right, the Escalade's full of fuel. We did the husband duties. Now we're gonna have a closer look at the app. So we've got our controller right here with the wire. This can be mounted with the little mounting bracket that they have. It's attached on the back here. Just with some adhesive, you could put it in different locations. I tuck mine down in the pocket down here. But we're going to use the app. We're gonna select Escalade. It's gonna switch over. Now the graphic user interface on here is pretty nice looking, it's pretty slick. Now, if we had a mount for our phone, we could put it somewhere where we could always have it on. But in this case, I'm just gonna hold it by hand so you can watch along. So we have all our different mode selectors here. So we could jump up to sport as an example. We could change it to sport one. Maybe we wanna go downwards, sport minus three. I'm gonna put it back to city plus two. So that's how easy it is to change. It's nice that the spacing of the buttons are far enough away, you're not gonna accidentally bump anything that's in too close a proximity. And then up here you have some more settings. You have my devices, add a device, adjust brightness. This deactivate control lock is nice because if I was to swipe this off, it would actually make the controller inoperable and we'd have to use 
the app only to do things. That could be handy if you didn't want anyone bumping this or changing the settings. They would have to have the app to make any changes. And then they talk about the different modes here so you can understand what they do for you. And then you also have setup support, which will walk you through the installation. And then back on the main screen here, you just have your home page, which can get you to different resources that Pedal Commander has available. You have the ability here to visit their website right through the app. Here you can contact them. Anything you want to talk to Pedal Commander about, this is where you can find ways to reach them. And then we have the profile here. That's me, Don. If you didn't know, my name was Don on Don's Life. So that's a quick overview of the app. Now let's get into the disadvantages. Now this may not be a disadvantage to you based on the vehicle that you have, but for me, this is a bit of a disadvantage and that's the actual mounting of the wired controller. Yes, it's easy to mount, but I think because the cable comes out of the one side and you can't change its orientation to maybe the bottom, like I'd like to be able to put it, you know, somewhere here, but I can't because this cable is too stiff. I can't put it by the steering column. If the cable came from underneath, I might be able to fit it somewhere else a little better. So it's a little bit limited just based on the way this cable comes out the one side. And that would bring me to the second disadvantage. If you are using the app, you may not have somewhere that you can mount your phone easily to be able to see the display at all times. So I'm kind of limited in here. I could get a suction cup mount for the window maybe. Maybe there's something that I could attach that makes it sit in the cup holder. Um, but other than that, for me to use the app in this vehicle is just a little bit cumbersome unless I have a, a mount way up here in the window. So another disadvantage, if I was able to mount this in a location I was satisfied with, we have distracted driving laws here. You might in your state or your province. So even if I had it mounted here and I was seen touching the screen, I could get pulled over and get a ticket because we're not supposed to be touching our cellular devices while driving. Now you already know we have 32 different settings. We can go four positive settings, four negative settings for every mode. The disadvantage to me is I think that's almost too many. I think that we could get away with four distinct settings for each of the different modes. Maybe you disagree, maybe you don't, but to me it just seems like there's a lot because I think you're gonna narrow it down to two or three that you like and you'll probably keep them there almost all the time. So another disadvantage is because this device is manipulating the signal to the throttle body, you have to be careful and keep it top of mind not to make any adjustments when you have the accelerator depressed because as you depress the accelerator, it's registering a different value. And if you manipulate that signal as it's registering a different value, it's gonna go haywire and it could result in throwing a code or something like that. It can all be undone. It's not the end of the world, but to adjust it properly, you gotta make sure your foot is not on the gas. Lastly, at least for this video, is when you're doing the install, if you have a vehicle such as this one, that when you have a key fob in close proximity to the vehicle, all the systems wake up, you do not want to perform the install when the key fob is with you and those systems are awake. I didn't realize that when I installed mine. Thankfully, nothing happened, but there is the risk of something not registering properly and maybe you'll have an error when you first go to hook this up. So you need to remember during your first installation, if you got a key fob that's gonna wake up the vehicle just being close by, you have to keep it far away from the vehicle, do your installation, and then you should be good to go. So that concludes my latest update on the Pedal Commander. Stick around because I will have some more updates as I get to that one year of ownership mark. But if you do wanna look at getting a Pedal Commander for yourself, and I do agree they work, then I will leave information for Pedal Commander down in the video description below. Check out the link there. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.